Not all sketches need to be done in pencil, of course, or even on that small scale. In fact, Constable worked in watercolour and oil to do what I call atmosphere sketches. This is a sketch Constable did in oil in 1816. Nobody's sure where this particular scene is, but that doesn't really matter because surely the point of this sketch was to capture the atmosphere of a sunny day in July. Constable also sketched in watercolour, or, although less often, and this sketch was done 20 years later than the oil we've just seen. Look how he's captured a quite different atmosphere using a different medium. And it's important to make this point. Whether you work in pencil, watercolour or oil, it depends on the subject and the atmosphere you want to create. In fact, I'm going to do the barns with the church behind and I've decided to work in pencil and watercolour. I've already drawn this picture in. It, 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 it's given me the nice feeling uh, and position on the paper and I've got the composition running lovely along the path and up to the church. But I started to shade it in because I do want to get the tonal values in it now but more than anything these lovely dark shadows before they disappear under the barn they really are nice also the type of watercolor that I'm going to do is the type where I'm adding overshading or painting overshading and it's a nice way of doing a watercolor especially outside um, because you're not having to do too much work with the mixing of the colors simply because you've got colour or tone underneath there already that you've done with the pencil. I nearly forgot to do this church and the, the shadow on the church and of course it's very important that. You also get some dark in here where we've got windows. I can't see the windows properly of course but it's, it's gone dark through there although this is the light side of the church and that's it. I think I've got enough shading in now to actually start with the painting. So off we go. I'll Get on with the painting. Now, this is an atmosphere sketch and all I'm concerned with is getting a feel and of the shadows that are in the picture. It's that that really inspired me and it's this that I want to get. get. That's perhaps gone a little dark, that. No, it hasn't. I'm working with ultramarine and crimson here now added a little bit of yellow ochre to that colour. Actually it's, it's rather nice. We've got that isn't sky behind there so I can't go any more with that. Notice incidentally that I'm not going right up to the edge of the paper because this is the area that I'm concentrating on around the church and all over here. Now the barn roofs are lovely and bright. We've got trees coming over here so I'm leaving some little bits of barn colour going through. We've got leaves again on there and then the barn, that's a little bit yellower there. Barn colour coming through on that side. Now the trees, these trees, they're this very dark, this very dark tree behind here. Uh, it worried me actually whether or not I should do it. In fact, I didn't shade it in for that reason. But it is very dark and I'm wondering whether it's going to be too much to put it in as dark as that. But you've got to have a go and see what happens. There's nothing I can do once I've done it. Um, oh, let's have a go. Let's put it in. I, I must admit I do like to put into a painting what is there. I, obviously we take bits out that we don't like or that it isn't helping our composition. But I do prefer to put, to put trees in or whatever in because nature says it's there. It's as simple as that. They're, they're much lighter behind there in the distance, those trees. And they've gone a bit warmer, the leaves haven't come out as much. Yeah, I'll leave that like that. And then there's another tree that comes round here. It goes a little green. I'm just gradually changing colours, not, not a tremendous amount. They're subtle as I change these green colours or browny colours. 
But then the tree nearest to us is much brighter. This one here, so and it goes over the church. Still even brighter still around here. I've mixed a shadow colour and I'm working, as it were, from left to right, uh, painting in the areas that I'd shaded in with pencil. And this is to simply get this lovely dark feeling underneath, underneath this barn. Now, obviously, that you can change that colour. In fact, I'm going to just add a little bit more blue in there. You can change these colours as you go along, give it variation apart from anything else, but also it does help to stop it looking a bit monotonous. Now, do remember, and this is where I've got to keep telling myself when I'm doing something like this, I'm, I'm not doing a full-blown watercolour painting. I am going for one thing in particular, and particular, and that is, in fact, these the effect that these shadows give. And so I mustn't get too bogged down in other things. And I think perhaps, perhaps just a little bit of, just a little bit of work in this tree, just to give a little more detail to the trunks. It, it, what it does, it actually brings it away from the barns that little bit more. And now by doing that, they're just sort of going off into the, with leaves over them. It just, just helps to mould them in a bit more. Now, the final thing I want to do is to put a shadow across this area here. And I hope that it, what it's going to do, apart from anything else, is give l more light or make the background appear lighter because of this shadow. And it's coming from a tree on the right hand side and it really is a nice dark shadow that gives that lovely feeling of sunlight. Notice I'm bringing all these end strokes down as though it's grass just to give that feeling of grass. That's it. And I think that will do it. And I just hope that I've captured that, or I feel I've captured that, that lovely, blustery, sunny May afternoon. It really is gorgeous out here. Oh, by the way, have a look at this one. Now, this is an oil that I did uh, of the same church, but from a different viewpoint altogether, and of course, a different atmosphere. It was very late afternoon, and everything was silhouette and it was really lovely and rich and the oil paint really helped me to get that. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. But of course, you can do pencil, you can work in oil, you can work in watercolour, you can work in pastel, you can work in almost anything to get the atmosphere of the day. So go out and have a go and enjoy it. See you next time.